Have you ever thought about how to set up a love altar? We're going to do that today. Hi guys, it's G with Aroma G's Botanica, and today we're going to learn how to set up a love altar. So, the first thing you do is you have to pick a surface. Uh, an altar can be anything. It can be a bookshelf. It can be a table. It could be something that is in a box that you open whenever you want to use it. So what is a love altar? Love altars are used to either enhance the relationship you've already got or to help you bring love into your life. So one thing you're going to do is find things that are associated with love. I know a lot of you like gemstones and crystals, so there are a couple you can actually put on your altar. Uh, rose quartz are associated with love. Garnet, it deals with passion. And you may put some um, things like sodalite or lapis. The blue is associated with the throat chakra and it's going to help communication in your relationship. Uh, another thing would be the surface you're going to put. What are you going to cover the surface with? Um, pick things that um, remind you of love. It can be cloths made of pink or red or something that is just very romantic like brocade. It can be, or you don't have to use a surface at, at all, a covering. Um, some people who burn a lot of candles don't like to have cloth cover, coverings. You may just choose something to adorn the sides of it. I like to actually put uh, crystals on the corners of my altars to sort of lock in the energy of what I'm doing. The next thing would be personal things. Uh, do you have any love letters? You can take love letters and actually use them on the altar. You may put it inside a frame behind a picture of the two of you, or maybe a picture of someone you're dreaming about, uh, like the perfect person, um, something to stand in for them. There's lots of things you can put in picture frames. You can press flowers, um, usually pick things that are associated with love. You can look up uh, flower associations all over the internet. Most of the time people use rose petals. Different ones, red is for passion, pink is for true love, white is for purity. Same thing with candles, so those same colors would work if you're going to put candles on the altar. If you don't have any love letters, because who writes love letters anymore? then print out some texts that the two of you have been communicating with. Print those out. You can even use them to write prayers, petitions, or your spells onto the back of or over top of the, um, the printed out letters. If you have real love letters, I wouldn't ruin them by using um, them to write petitions with. Maybe copy one and then write over top of it what you're wanting to happen. Uh, pick other things that are associated with love. Maybe you like lace, so put some lace ar around somewhere. Um, there's all sorts of things that are associated with love. I cover a bunch of this in the book I just came out with, which was Casting Love Spells, and there's an entire section on setting up a love altar. So you have the space, you have it covered, you, know, you have some stones, um, we've got some um, candles going on there. So what else can you put on a love altar? Some people will actually pick things like, maybe they have a, a favorite rom-com, a romantic comedy. They'll put the DVD on the love altar. Um, something that reminds them of the feelings of new love. There's no rules with this. But just put all things that are associated with love. And daily you would go to it and simply pray to bring the right love to you or to bring that person you're trying to get back into your life. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It is a very simple step. There's tons of ideas you can come up with, but that is how to set up a love altar. Please like and subscribe and visit us at aromagees.com.